Okay, guys, in this chapter, we're going to talk about relationships in quadrilaterals. And so I've drawn kind of a flow chart of quadrilaterals here. Um, so first, we just have a basic quadrilateral. All right, so this is just your basic standard quadrilateral. Okay, so we've got our basic uh, quadrilateral there. And now, um, there, there are three main types of quadrilaterals, okay? Uh, there's, there's um, first of all, there are kites. Okay, so we have kites. All right. Now, kites are when we have um, when we have two consecutive sides that are um, congruent, and then that's our definition of a kite. We also have trapezoids. So trapezoids. Okay. So trapezoid is when we have only one uh, set of opposite sides, exactly one set of opposite sides that are uh, parallel. Okay. Uh, we also have a special case of trapezoids, which are isosceles, which is an isosceles trapezoid. Okay. So an isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid where uh, the other two sides, the non-parallel sides, are congruent. So we have trapezoids, isosceles trapezoids, these are all part of quadrilaterals, okay? Uh, finally, the third type, we have parallelograms. So parallelogram. Okay, so all parallelograms are quadrilaterals. And then we have two, two types of, of parallelograms. We have rectangles. We have rhombi. Okay, so rectangles and rhombi. And if you have a rectangle and a rhombi, then that is a square. Okay, so this is sort of an organizational method uh, of seeing how uh, quadrilaterals are related to each other. Um, let me draw uh, a bit of a picture here. Um, all right, so let's say we have a very big world. of quadrilaterals. Okay, so this is sort of quadrilateral land. Okay, so this is all quadrilateral. So quadrilateral. Okay, and again, we have all, uh, we, we have a few different types of quadrilateral. One, we have kites. Okay, so we have kites. So all kites are quadrilaterals, but not all quadrilaterals are kites. We also have uh, trapezoids. So trapezoids. Okay, and within trapezoids, we also have isosceles trapezoid. Okay, so uh, just to help you sort of organize this information in your head. All isosceles trapezoids are trapezoids, but not all trapezoids are isosceles trapezoids, okay? Not all quadrilaterals are trapezoids, but all trapezoids are quadrilaterals. So you can, you can think about it this way. And then we have uh, the world of parallelograms, which is, which is pretty big. Okay, so we have this world over here is going to be parallelograms. All right, and then within that, we have rectangles, we have rhombi, and we have squares. Okay, so this is sort of the way you can think about all quadrilaterals. So um, I, I don't know if, if this flow chart helps you or, or if this. Uh, kind of diagram with with some Venn diagrams inside if that helps you but but it can it can you know either one should help you get a better understanding <clears throat> of the relationship between different types of quadrilaterals so all of these things again I think this one helps us all of kites trapezoids isosceles trapezoids parallelograms squares rectangles round by all of those are quadrilaterals now um, so a kite is always a quadrilateral uh, rectangle is always a quadrilateral but uh, we see that kites are not always parallelograms. In fact, they're never parallelograms. Okay, so 
So you can see there are some things that are mutually exclusive. There are some things that are, uh, you know, contained within each other. For example, all isosceles trapezoids are trapezoids. All rectangles are parallelograms. All rhombi are quadrilaterals. So I hope this can help you. Uh, maybe in your notes uh, that you're taking right now, maybe you could copy this in your notes and, and you can um, see uh, or, or refer back to this drawing uh, because this will be a pretty good, um, a pretty good uh, you know, graphic to, to refer to. Uh, it'll be a good reference for you uh, in the future when, when talking about quadrilaterals. Thanks for watching.